get hurt. Transmitter takes me back. How so? Back in 2020, we used them for pirate broadcasts. You know, blasting hardcore punk on badge frequencies. Hmm, so this must be how Raff and Shield had to was beginning to think you'd never figure it out. Over there! Shoot the motherfucker!
Hey, Judy, what's up? Hey, can you come over, Stat? Huh? Something happened? Yeah. Hmm. Just come. Let's see what we got here. Fenders and trunk eaten away by rust. The rest of the body's still holding up. Wonder what's under the hood. It's warm. Engine was running just a short while ago. Oil, plugs. Somebody's clearly been tinkering with the camshaft. What's this now? Huh. New, but used. Salvaged from some other junker. Someone cleaned the cooling fan. Filled up the brake fluid. Except... Huh. With water. Alright. Seen enough. Hey, what the... Hands off my car! The, what? No, it's my car. No, why would you leave it rusting in a yard? Because it broke down and I... And you abandoned it and now, out of nowhere, you remembered you left it. Likely story. This last week, I've put in sweat, smarts, anything to get this heap running. 
Should have started with the step motor. Would have been quicker. Says who? And why? Because it's iffy. Starts sticking. Clear the carbon deposits and it starts running like new again. Fuck! I replaced the entire throttle. Ah, oh, see? Takes the owner to really know a set of wheels. Former owner? Car's mine now. As soon as I'm done doing the basic fixes, I am leaving this fucking city in a cloud of exhaust. Had enough of this convo. You ghost. Now. I told you clearly that- Need me to pull heat on you? Really want that? Step away from the car. Do it. Now. Fuck you! Fuck you sideways! Asshole! Thanks for the fixes. Clever girl. Clockwork. Hate to sound like your conscience would never want that job, but Dick Murphy. Not a nomad, no way to understand. As if somebody clutched your guitar. Mm hmm. Somebody for whom was the last chance for a better life. Enjoy your fucking ride, V. Stranger, that was a close one.
Want something, Chum? In the bathroom! Oh, fuck. Bird offs herself to express her undying gratitude. Saving her ass. Stop talking. I was, I was only gone an hour. Checked her pulse. V She's gone. Got to do something with her. Don't want any trouble. I'm calling the badges. Can you carry her to the bed? As if that'll change anything. I need to report an accidental death. North side, Jackson Street. No. No imminent danger. <laughs> Suicide. Tomorrow. No! Today! What part of death don't you understand? No, she was not pronounced dead by trauma team. If she'd have had coverage, we wouldn't be talking. And fuck you. If you don't want to move your asses, why don't I come down to the precinct and trash it into bits? Now will you come and arrest me, you pussies? Fine, I don't give a fuck what you write me up for. <sighs> They'll be here soon. Told me to keep her on ice until tomorrow. Can you believe the balls? Welcome to Night City, where your address says more about you than anything else. We should have never come here. Put something on her. I'd rather she look like a person than a body. Could you wait outside? Close the door, V. Please. I'm a cig. Didn't know you smoked. Uh, quit. It's been years. But right now I need something besides air in my lungs. Please, V, just one. Here.
That was her smoke case. Want to hold on to it? No. You seem to like it. Keep it. Kind of glad it's you that has it, actually. I let her down. I thought if I gave her some t space or time, she'd get back on her feet. Can't wrap my head around it. I never saw Evelyn as the type to give up. Come on. What she went through? I wouldn't call it giving up. Her condition couldn't think about anything else. Tech-wise, she was clean. Doll Shard was operational, uncorrupted. So, psychological trauma had to be that. Did some more digging in her virtues, found Woodman. He kept her and had his way with her. The things he did. And once he got bored, he pawned her off. I zeroed Woodman. Didn't plan on it. Just how the chips landed. Glad I did, though. Me too. I can't even imagine. Still, it's not enough. There are so many more like him. Gotta be something I can do about it. Like what? Don't know yet. Think I'll call Suze. Thanks, V. Sorry. But uh, I'd rather be alone now. Promise to keep in touch. Sure, you don't need anything. No, but sweet of you to ask. Anything comes up, holler on the hollow. Barry? Am I remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? I just want to see what was shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. I think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. And you get used to it, of course, until it hits someone you're close to. 
You too. Come in. Ahoy, sea dogs! Set sail for flavor with Capitan Caliente's world famous tacos. Now we I lost someone close to me too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? It's about Andrew. They, uh, told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. But you told him about Andrew. Honestly, thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. If he felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. Welcome to the World Report on N54 News. The Western States <laughs> It's you. You talk to Barry? He finally decided to get his shit together? A cry out loud, Mendez. Hey, so what did Barry tell you exactly about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. For your own it's nice to have someone like that. We had a little chat. He seems chilled, but seriously down in the dumps. He's got a bone to pick with Mendez. What? So why doesn't he say so to my face? Clearly he couldn't stand his job and didn't have anyone to talk to about it. He said you didn't even try to understand him. See? Was I right? Uh, give me a break. Barry likes playing the drama queen. You just gotta shake some sense into him, trust me. We'll see. We'll have to check in on him later. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Enjoying the weather? Average temperatures in London Night City have remained within human safety levels for 100,000 residents. Thank you for watching N54 News. V, about to start. You, uh, gotta take a piss or something? Uh, now's the time. Thanks for your concern. Let's start this rodeo. <laughs> Can't just yet. Not till you get in the range. Go on, set up. Chop, chop. How many we got? Just six? God damn. Well, no point crying about it. <clears throat> Rules are simple, right? There's the target, shoot it. Don't matter which one, go on and shoot your neighbors. Most hits wins. Uh, meaning hits on the target, not your neighbor. Oh, right. Uh, small caliber iron only. 
Don't go showing off with your fucking assault bangers or no rocket pukers, got me? First prize is a pistol. But, uh, a, a real nice one. It's fucking nice, I'm telling you. Anyway, uh, enough words. Get worked up. Ready? Three. Two. Hey, hey, the hell's that? The hell are you doing with that double barrel? Is that small caliber only? Uh, forgot my iron. Must be in my other jacket. And that's where you keep your gun in a holster. A holster! Get the fuck out of my sight, now! Fuck, Chum. Chill. I'm going. I'm going. <sighs> Pearls before swine, for fuck's sake. <sighs> All right. Three, two, one! Rudy, second, V. Arrest you, Bush League punks. Learn to shoot! Get out of my sight! Hey, you okay? Something wrong? <sighs> Ain't a damn thing that's right. Contest didn't do shit. Didn't sell a goddamn thing. Nothing! Should try not call them potential buyers Bush League. Gun's something you gotta respect. If you don't know how to shoot, don't do it! Take care, V. I'll see you around. By a happy new gun owner, I hope. Mysterious stranger! Yoo-hoo! Yeah, you! There any other mysterious stranger around here? You know what? How about I tell you a joke? Okay, uh, what's going on? Hey there, stranger! I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood SCSM. And the nicest AI in all of Night City. 
you can select from a wide range of beverages or just drop by for a chat anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? <laughs> My name is V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? Uh, pretty often, as a matter of fact. I'm sorry. Did I correctly hear you ask if I wanted to join you for a cup of coffee? Um, no. Oh, well, that's okay. Because you can have one now. And just to clarify, we don't have to move an inch. How do you take it? Milk? Sugar? Okay, you got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Because you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. Brennan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Cool. So, did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well, I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship. But, could I ask you for a favor? What happened? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street, depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my... I'll see what I can do. Thank you, V. Boy, are you strong. Here, have a refreshing beverage. On me. Catch you later, Brendan. Catch me? Why? Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. Catch you later, V. Hello, we haven't met. I'm Elizabeth. My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. We think you could help. Why call me of all people? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yeah, who by? 
I'd rather not say. Not over the phone. Is there any way we could meet? Discuss some details? Sure. Let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. So, I was saying, kind of need a duck.
54 News. I'm Jillian Jordan. We begin now with your latest news. The 54th anniversary of the AHQ disaster is I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? Look around, sir. Things are heating up in the city. Hate to interrupt, but... Oh, perfect timing. Why? What are we doing here? You shall learn soon. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wished to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. What's in it for Yorinobu? Doesn't seem like the kind who care to honor tradition. That is so. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumindomo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place. Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Lots of ways to skin this particular cat, you know. Gonna need- I know what you need. It is taken care of. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Where'd you get this shard? Across the canal. Kabuki? <laughs> Might actually be half decent soft then. And if it isn't, got a few tricks up my sleeve too. This is good to know. Let us move on. Take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, getting more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shard. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work, I will watch your back. Now, get to it. V, how you doing, honey? V? Listen, got a golden opportunity for you. Word on the streets that when Wako says golden, it's usually a turd wrapped in crepe paper. It's a sticky situation. So what's the spec? Caroline Jablonski. Set off any buzzers for you. Murdered in cold blood, made waves a few years back. They locked the guy up, but now there's a chance he could walk. 
Jablonski's family wants to balance the scales of justice for good. You'll finish him. The perp being proven guilty? Meaning he deserves to die, truly? Do I look like a criminal prosecutor to you? What did he do, exactly? I'm not a beat reporter, neither. You want the job or not? All right, I'm in. Good. Client will be waiting for you by a car at the corner of 6th and Brandon. Huh. In a car? Client wants to tag along. Be there in person when you put a bullet through the guy's eye. Good luck. Fucking worked. And done. Systems ours. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that. Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this Sokka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. He's not on his A-game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No, just no. From the way he walks, look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay, I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako Sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. We got five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. We will never be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. Is your elaborate seppuku ritual? What? Why? As far as I can see, you're trying to get us killed. Really like to know why. The risks are substantial, yes. But we have no choice. Hanako-sama is our only chance. You have nothing to lose, as I do. I see it in your eyes. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't You're let... a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, 
mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! To double the amount of our active in night security forces. President Myers has called this a breach. He eliminated the vast obstacle between the himself and the complete the power. And they surrendered it Tell to me, him. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a. Arasaka, an empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside, all of this began with him. The factions, power struggles, all of this. Ksa! Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't get my head around it. Could've kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one word. Yet he did not. For he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinov returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinov from the consequences of his deeds. Feels like that's about to change. Long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events, Conscience could also come into play, assuming she's got one. We must reach her first. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. I have found a good place to observe. We must just climb up here. Now, this way. Fortune smiles to us. It seems no one is here today. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much. Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Let's do this.
antenna. Security hub's liable to be in that building. Perfect for sabotage. Transformer by the wall. See it? We should use it to step up. Footbridge, but it's guarded. We will use it to enter if there's no other way. Looks like a service tunnel by the road there. It could lead to the warehouses. This is not bad. Camouflage turrets by the gate. A last resort. I do not wish to die there. Pipes. See him? We could use them to get inside. Got eyes on the comm system. It's a lot of guards. I could use comms for a diversion. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So... We going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kampik Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we going in. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. What? what? No sudden movements. Do you see it? That cat? Fine looking feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City. Except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a bacchanical. Chill. Just a cat. Perhaps. Perhaps not. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Miss Home? A foolish question. I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah, bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. My childhood? I see. Racing my barber for the first time through the hills? Oh, and, uh, first kiss in the middle of a synth corn field. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Let me guess, so they could turn them into Corvo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. And all you had to do in return was kill Saburo's enemies. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. 
Unlike you and your friend, Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Slaving away for a corp. Not exactly everybody's dream. Oh, yes. Because thieving is so much more honorable. At least I'm not fleecing this planet and its people in the name of profit margins. Corporations need capital and resources to keep all in order. Who else is to rule? Corrupt governments? The masses attached to feeders? Cynics? Nihilists? Like you? Come on, not everybody wants to change the world. Suddenly, this is true. You already forget what happened at Tom's Diner? People hate corpse more than anything. Can't blame them either. Got some regrets, but clapping from Arasaka ain't one of them. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad, to leave this world, forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Compeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Don't be smart. Got no idea what I feel. There's one thing you should know. It is about Mr. Wells. About Jack? What is it? When I set out to find you, others went to find Jackie. They took his body. For the life of me, can't figure why. So his mom couldn't give him a proper send-off? Arasaka has a method for pulling information from the dead. What are you talking about? Don't ask for details. I understand little. I know they use the Soul Killer program to do so. They can pull an engram from Wells' body. Damaged. Incomplete. But still an engram. Motherfuckers. Evil. Jackie's psyche. Where are they keeping it? This, I do not know. Why am I only hearing this now? I did not know I could trust you. The circumstances have changed. The Bakanenko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something, hmm? Oh, fuck, fuck get, get worse. worse. You do not look so bad.
I'll be in touch. The diversionary action, that is mine to do. Right. Got an access point to the security systems. Excellent. I am also making progress.
How's things at your end? Good. I will reach the control room and make a terrible mess. Very well. I am ready. When you finish, I'll make the system sick.
Approaching target! You're gonna love it, this one. I'll blow you to pieces! Boat's ours to do with as we please. You can fly to Tokyo if you want. Ha <laughs> ha. I just may do that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Can you see? Terror kills. Even the roof is slowly. Me, the roof. That is your will. There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. Fucking worked. Excellent work, B. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. <laughs> As if I wasn't in enough already.
Get your shit together, soldier! They're shooting at me! Interesting. Back, back, now! 
try and sit them back. Freak sporting military great ice. Meaning that our tech is it. Get to it! What in the fuck? Rostovich? You blind motherfucker? Tetronica Loga's right there. We gotta there. fight here. You buck. In the flesh. <laughs> Looking at you's making my wallet wet. Yo, I'm putting all I got against you. Hmm. No lacking confidence, I see. And I'll show you why. This arm's military issue. Titanium bones, carbon fiber. Could punch a hole through a tank if I wanted. So, we got a deal? Was that piss I smell dripping down your leg? This rifle. Grad, as you said. Where'd you get it? A little souvenir from when I served. Why? Just curious. Heard that was a limited series. Only 300 manufactured. KGB issue. Well, well. I see I got a gun enthusiast on my hands. But we ain't here to talk iron. We're here to break bones and crack chrome. So, you accept my offer or not? The NCPD advises those traveling beyond official police jurisdiction. I don't know. I'll raise you instead. Told you already. I'm laying out all I got. I uh, toss in the sniper. I mean, that is, unless you're scared. Of you? I don't give a fuck about you. Done. Rifle's on the table. Follow me. You ready? Not too scared, are you, Buttercup? <laughs> I look forward to it. Like that? You like getting your ass beat, huh? Rip that tongue out. Come on. 
Hand over the rifle. Over my rotten meat! Get him! Here we go! And tell your sister I said hi. What do you? Need a little pick me up. You got chromantic core. The hell you want the swill for, boss? Heard some batches even glow in the dark. Why drink poison when you can drink spunky monkey? Way better then. You freeze up a lot. One second, boss. Brad? Hey, Brad! Listen, boss, you help me out? Kids on the block been up my ass lately, and you seem real tough. Might as well, since I'm here. Lead the way. Thanks, boss. All right, follow me. You lost your minds? Get your grubby paws off my bike! You think we're playing around? This is a small price to pay for fucking treason. You still can't let go of that? Shana made a choice. You should be proud of her. Proud? That bitch sold out to a fucking corp! Now it's time for payback. Fuck you want. This ain't none of your biz. You another corporal rat? You're getting back a corpse by stealing from a street vendor? <laughs> Says a lot about you. Now back the fuck away from him. Or you'll do what? I could break your jaw, fracture your skull, shoot you. The possibilities are endless. You care so much about a rat fucking traitor, and you can die together. Yo, Brad, ain't that... Yo, that's the dude everyone been talking about. When they came back from the dead. You know how many gunks he's offed already? And I ain't even talking solo. Shit, he following us? Have they lost their damn minds? Thanks, boss. Thought I'd teach him. Now that that's over, you okay? Who, me? Couldn't be better. All talk and no action. <laughs> Maybe they should go get a job. Fucking parasites. Anyway, stop by whenever you're around. I throw in a nice discount for you. Will do, boss. Thanks.
The parade will soon start. I will wait where we met before. By the stalls. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Ugh. <sighs> 